What's up, y'all? Welcome to tonight's problem. Uh, well, two problems, actually. I just got back from uh, Denton, Texas, and evidently I had a screw or nail on my tire uh, when I left, and I noticed it, uh, the sidewall bulging on it when I was pulling out the driveway. And uh, so I checked the air in it, and it had about 50 pounds in it. I aired it up, it was leaking. Uh, anyway, I needed to make the load, it was on a Sunday. I didn't have a patch or anything, didn't have time to mess with it anyways. Uh, so I made it on out there, I stopped about every 50, 60, 70 miles, somewhere in there, and uh, checked the air in it and added air to it to keep the pressure up so it didn't blow out. Made it out there, got unloaded, and come back empty. And uh, so I gotta fix the tire. And then I got this stupid little thing here that uh, is on the turbocharger on the engine. Uh, is an actuator. This is a uh, variable geometry uh, turbo, I think, BGT, whatever it stands for. And uh, it's got veins inside of it. Turn the light on here so you can tell a little better. But uh, it's got a rod here, and this moves up and down. It's uh, got a spring in it, so I can't move with my hand. But anyway, the rod goes in and out, and it changes the pitch of those veins in the turbo and the exhaust gases flow across those veins and it makes it have more boost when it closes those veins off at a lower RPM and then when you need to let the more exhaust flow as the RPMs rise it opens those veins up so that the exhaust can flow through the turbo more freely and it also works when the exhaust breaks on to close back to, to give exhaust back pressure as well uh, so it, it works alongside of the Jake brakes that's in the head uh, Or the engine brake that's in the head So anyway, evidently the seals in here the packing in here has went out and it's just blowing air out anywhere So I'm having a hard time keeping air pressure up uh, I was able to maintain uh, About 95 90 95 pounds on the way home with air blowing out of it, but uh, I got to fix this and Luckily, I actually have one of them. I bought this turbo and put it on the truck and it come with a new one on here. This is the one off of the old turbo and the new one that was on the turbo, something was wrong with it and the rod end of it broke off. Like I hauled three loads and I think on the third load the rod end broke off and the rod is actually bent and I don't know why it was bent unless it was bent from before and that's what caused it to break or I don't know what happened why why it broke like that but so I put the old one on there and it's been on there for over a year and the seals went out in there evidently uh, this thing's got a lot of heat on it obviously <clears throat> excuse me being up against the turbo and so uh, I've got the new one in the house uh, I got it apart and so I'm gonna take the seals out of the new one and put in this old one that the rod's still good on and rebuild it and put it back on the truck uh, that'll fix our air leak and then we will patch the tire and we will be back on the road again tomorrow so uh, let me go get the get this off and get the new one started and uh, I'll show y'all what this thing looks like inside all right guys we are in here in the kitchen because I don't have a table outside a work surface and uh, the bolts in this old one are froze up. I'm trying to free them up. And they are loctited from the factory also, evidently. Let me find some gloves before I burn my hand. Wrong drawer. Anyway, I gotta get uh, I gotta get my stuff straightened out in the shop. I gotta get me a table out there so I can do this. I'm not have to bring it in the house, but uh, it is warm in here, anyways. Still ain't gonna come loose.
There we go. There's a little too much heat melting my cabinet. Whoops. Thing I ain't got a wife, I'd be in trouble right now, wouldn't I? Alright guys, I finally got the old one apart here, and it looks like that the seals are flat right here on this one side, uh, like it's wore down, so it's probably leaking air beside that, and also the rod is loose right there, so there's going to be a little air leaking between that, so I'm going to heat that up and then uh, paint it with a hammer to flare it back out, tighten that up, and uh, I got the seals off of the other one here and uh, I had to put it in the oven. Uh, this is one of those, uh, I'm not sure what they call it, Teflon maybe, and when you heat them, it expands. So I put it in the oven at about 300 degrees, heated it, got a screwdriver under it, kind of worked it around, spread it out, and so I had to get, back, get it back on there, and then I'll have to work it back together and try to get it to shrink back so I can put it back together. But this is the, the new one that I had that the rod broke on, the rod end broke. See, it's supposed to have that rod end right there on it. And I have no idea why it broke off like that. I don't know if it was just a casting flaw or what, but it looks like the rod is actually bent right there. And that one doesn't appear to be bent like that. You can see that on the camera. But, uh, so I don't know why it's like that, but, uh, we're going to put the seals that come off of this one on this one and I'm going to use the cap that come on the new one uh, because I had to heat the crap out of this old one to get it apart and I'm sure I warped it and uh, didn't help it any. So I'm going to use a new cap, new seals, the old rod and bottom end part to put this together with. So let me get the seals off of here. I'm going to heat this and uh, paint it down and uh, we'll go from there.
All right, guys, I got it staked just a little bit there, better than it was. And uh, go ahead and put the seals on it now. This is the first seal it goes on. It goes down in here in this groove. And uh, just going to walk it on there. Well, if I can hold on to it, I will. Got it down there in the first groove. Then this uh, Teflon seal goes over the top of it. Like that. And we will have to try to squeeze it back together. They make a thing. They use these seals in transmissions. It's what my dad uh, done for a living for many years. He still does it a little bit uh, at his house, uh, rebuilding automatic transmissions. And they have seals like this in there. They make a, uh, a seal resizer for when you stretch the seal and put it on there. Uh, it's like a little cone shaped deal on some of the input shaft seals, it slides over it and resizes it. So it shrinks back down on there, but I don't have anything for that, so I'm trying to use my fingers. And uh, I'll probably wind up putting this in the refrigerator there, maybe helping shrink it as well. But uh, I'll go ahead and stick the other two seals on there. And then we will uh, worry about that. So that's how it goes. Uh, I just got to get this to shrink back just a little bit tighter than that. And we'll stick it in the refrigerator and let it cool off or the freezer and let it cool off. And uh, then I'll work it a little bit more. We'll see if we can get it back together. All right, guys, I can't seem to find any Vaseline uh, or any grease. What I did find was some nozzle dip for MIG gun. And as many of you know, it's a lot like Vaseline. So that's what we're going to use to uh, put the cylinder back together with to lubricate the seals because that's all I have. And it's, uh, I don't know, 11 or 12 at night. There's nobody open. I got work to do. So we ain't got time to be waiting around on no doggone vaseline or no grease so using this all righty got her all lubed up i'll put just a little bit on the o-rings as well All right, guys, I just pulled this uh, rod assembly for this actuator out of the uh, freezer. I had it in there trying to get this O-ring to shrink or this Teflon seal to shrink packing. And uh, it's a little better. Still going to take a little work to get it down in that, uh, the body of it, but we're going to go with it here in a minute. I don't know what the heat rating of this is, but it should be decent. It's for a MIG gun nozzle, and you know they get hot. It's supposed to keep the uh, spatter from sticking to it. This turbo gets hot, so maybe this will work out decent. I'm 
we'll have to work that in there with uh, with something there and not cut it. Alright guys, I got a nifty little tool here. This is for uh, putting CV boots on a four-wheeler axle shaft because uh, I used to do some of that as well. And uh, I'm going to use this to try to suck this seal together. Uh, we'll see how that works. It's been a while since I used this tool, like probably 10 years. remember how to operate the thing there Well, let's try it again. There we go. Got it back on there. All right, so the orientation of this goes like this. screws back in that and we'll be good to go all right guys that's that's back assembled I'm going to uh, go put it on there you can't really see it working uh, without driving the truck there's no way to videotape that but uh, it should not leak air now I do not think like it was so should be good and get that put back on there and uh, then I'll worry about changing the tire. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.